Recently, I just acquired a mini 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, which I would like to give you a first impressions on today. So I actually received two different batteries from Lee Time. That's the new brand name. They were rebranded from Ampower Time. And basically they've sent me out two batteries for me to test out and review for you. We've got this mini 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, which I'd like to give my thoughts on so far. I also have this self heating 100 amp hour battery. But today in this video, we're going to be looking at the mini 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Now, one of the biggest benefits, which right off the bat, if we're talking about features, would be the fact that this is probably one of the lightest, smallest, compact 100 amp hour batteries that you're gonna find for this price point. For this price point, this is excellent value, honestly. Like when it comes to the, mar the rest of the market, like the weight for the price ratio, doesn't even come close. Like this is one of the best that you're gonna get in terms of getting a lightweight 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So the weight of this battery in kilograms is 8.6 kilos. That's the way it's measured on the website. And then for the American audience, it's 19 pounds. Now, in terms of why I was looking to get these batteries, the first reason was I was interested in having the self-heating battery because I do live in an area where occasionally it can drop to below zero degrees Celsius. It's very rare, but it can happen. So I wanted to have that peace of mind. Essentially, one of the reasons I was looking at the Mini is purely because of its compact size, its lightweight compared to the other batteries out there, and especially when you compare this battery to the traditional AGM and the lead acid batteries. Like if we're talking watt per kilo, they list on their website that this is a 142.2 watt hour per kilo. So honestly, it's just incredible the density of energy that you're getting out of this little neat little package. I was looking to build a system which would allow me to run two systems independently. Further on from that, we will be comparing eventually the self-heating battery to the mini and kind of a bit of pros and cons as to why you might want to go for one versus the other because they're not the exact same battery. They give you the, the same amount of amp hours, but they're, they're slightly different. Even the cell technology is slightly different inside of them. So the reason I was looking at this battery was to be able to have an independent system that ran alongside my main system. So I'm gonna be hooking this up to some solar panels. I'm gonna get a charge controller, a lightweight, budget friendly. I'm, I might even get like a PWM charge controller so that I can show you like you can actually do this on a budget because the MPPT charge controllers definitely cost sometimes double of what a PWM controller can cost. And then I will be connecting that to one of my DC controller boxes. So if you haven't seen that video, I actually have a full explainer explaining what a DC control box is and I just for, for now I'd like to run the system as a DC system direct current and then maybe later on down the line I might invest into having it run as an AC system but for now I'm going to keep it as just a simple DC system it'll allow me to run the AC system independently. There's loads of different things that you can do with that much power. It's incredibly useful. My goal, I guess, is I can I can run all of my DC appliances. So that will be my laptop, that'll be my phone, that'll be running the fridge. When, I, when it comes to the unboxing, it was super simple. You get the bolts, it's well padded, it was super lightweight. It was really a big surprise compared to the, the Group 31 size, mind-blowingly smaller, but it's still very dense. Like. It's still a very dense package, but it, that definitely feels like you've got so much power to work with in such a small compact package, which is really, really neat. Let's talk about the weight of this battery. So when I tested it myself, I got a reading of 8.8 .8 kilograms, which is still incredibly lightweight. There are definitely pros and cons to running a 12 volt system off grid compared to using a 24 volt system. This video is not gonna be diving into the details of that. If you did want to, you could run two batteries, either in series or in parallel. You can choose whichever system you need for your needs. What I find really interesting is that if you compare the Group 31 size, just purely in terms of weight, when you take two of these batteries together, you either get a 24 volt system, which will weigh 17.6 kilograms, or you can have a 200 amp hour battery at 12 volts and it'll weigh 17.6 kilograms. When you compare that to running the Group 31 
size batteries, which weigh upwards of 11.5 kilograms, which is still considerably lighter than the flooded lead acid batteries or the AGM batteries, which can weigh something like 27 to 35 kilograms. I mean, that is considerably heavier. So when we compare the Group 31 size, which weigh 11.5 kilograms, if you took two of those together, they would weigh 23 kilograms. So just let that sink in for a minute. If you took two of these 12 volt, 100 amp hour mini batteries together, you will get 17.6 kilograms. And then if you took the group 31 size, which have the pros and their cons, which I will explain later on in another video, those ones weigh 11.5 kilograms each, which means two of them would be 23 kilograms. The weight saving, if you go for the mini, would be 5.5 kilograms. Now, I think to some of you out there, whether you're like on a kayak or on a boat, or if you're doing RV travel, whatever it might be, five kilos might be considerable. It might be a big difference. Once you have four batteries, you're basically getting an extra battery for the same amount of weight, if that makes sense. Then when we're talking about the cell technology, so I've seen some teardowns of this mini and essentially what they're doing is that they're using pouch cells instead of using prismatic cells. Those kind of have their pros and their cons. Like long story short, the pouch cells that they're using are actually kind of the same ones that you might find in a smartphone or you might find in a laptop. It's a similar technology and that's one of the reasons why they're able to get such an amount of power in such a small space. When we're talking about the dimensions of the battery, I mean, that is also incredibly small. I believe when I looked at it myself, I literally took a tape measure. I'm going to use centimeters, but I believe it was 23 to 24 centimeters high. If you, it depends if you want to include the bolts or not. And then it was about 26 centimeters across, I believe. And then it was 13 centimeters in terms of depth. So it's incredibly small. I mean, it's, it can, it's even considerably smaller by about 35%, I believe, than than the group 31 size when you're comparing it to a lead acid battery i mean that's not even a comparison i mean it's sometimes like three times lighter which is just incredible so my model that i got did not come with the bluetooth but i highly recommend if you want to i would definitely try and get the bluetooth within yours because then you can monitor the amount of amp hours that's coming in and out of the battery via using your smartphone. So I highly recommend getting that. I do have a MPPT charge controller from Red Audio, which has a Bluetooth feature on it. So as a demonstration, you can see that having your smartphone to be basically a way to track how much power is coming in and out of your system. So you can measure the amount of amp hours that's going in and out of your battery. If you're planning to use a battery like this for like being on a boat for some whatever reason. One of the benefits of this one is it does have an IP65 waterproof rating. Another feature about this mini is that you can mount it in any orientation, even upside down. On one of my tests is I wanted to basically test the battery capacity of this 100 amp hour mini. And I was really impressed, like that's already something I wanna mention. But what I had to do is because the cables that came with my battery capacity tester were so short, I had to place the battery on its side. I am planning to try and get some longer cables. Essentially, I was able to attach my battery capacity device which I will leave a link down to below to AliExpress in case there's somebody's interested in that. And basically I was able to test the battery capacity. I was really impressed with what you can get out of this battery. When I did my battery capacity test, I basically ran the system for about 10 and a half hours, drawing about 10 amps out of the battery. I was able to get 1,305 watt hours out of this 100 amp hour mini 12 volt battery. Now that is incredible. So I was able to get over the capacity of what it's recommended. Like they literally print on this battery 1,280 watt hours, but I was able to get 1,305 watt hours. I just think that's amazing. Like I think it's a really good value for money. They are being very trustworthy when it comes to the capacity of this 100 amp hour battery. So I got 101 amp hours out of this battery. Just purely on the DC numbers, like it's incredible. Like you could run a 12 volt fridge for like 24 hours or something. It's incredible. In terms of the amperage that you can pull out of this battery, it does have a BMS that is rated up to 100 amps and you can draw up to 200 amps on a surge rating briefly. So in terms of the BMS that is actually on this, I did a test on myself 
heating battery, so the other 100 amp hour battery. And I basically ran that on its own before I was installing it to the, the larger system to run it in parallel with my other 100 amp hour battery. And I was testing it. I was able to get 100 amps and that was on the self-heating one. I definitely recommend the fact that they're being very honest about their numbers on their website, which is fantastic. If you do want to run a 2000 watt solar inverter, you will need to run two of these batteries together. Just keep that in mind. The mini that I have does not have low temperature protection. The new a model that they've just been released which has the bluetooth 5.0 inside of it so you can measure the what's what power is coming in and out of the battery does have low temperature protection so just keep that in mind in case you you are absolutely needing that you can go for that as long as you keep your battery kind of insulated and you're not going to be living in like let's say norway or canada you're not going to really need to worry too much about that in my opinion if we just rewind a bit and we talk about the compactness of the dimensions of this i already mentioned what the size was. When you compare this to a solar generator or a portable power station, so I actually already have a Fossibot F800 and a Vevor 296 watt hour battery. And what's interesting is that when you put these kind of side by side to this 100 amp hour mini, they're almost, they are almost the same size. Basically, what I personally like with DIY, I mean, this kind of extends out to an, another idea which I like about DIY solar systems, is that basically everything's modular. So you basically got the battery on its own. You could put that below your desk in your office. You could either put that under your kitchen space somewhere lower to the ground. And then you could have your charge controller further up to eye level. And then you could have your inverter somewhere else. And then you can even have your DC plugs in another location. So personally, I love the fact that this is all modular and yet you're still getting that compact form factor. So it's, it's really fantastic. Depending on who you are and what your needs are, you might be looking at this more compact version, especially if you're living in a, like an RV setting or if you're, if you're especially if you're doing van life, this is definitely something you want to consider. Did I also mention that you can connect 16 of these mini batteries together? So you'd have a combined rating of over 20 kilowatt hours of energy. You also get a five year warranty. Just keep that in mind. Definitely stay subscribed for when we'll be having a look at the self heating battery. And what we will be able to do is we'll be able to, to sort of do a, a bit of a comparison between the group 31 size format and the mini and, and kind of like give a bit of pros and cons to each system. What might fit you best? Definitely like and subscribe for some future content. And I hope to see you in a future video.